Hey guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. Today we will be seeing the question permutations from lead code. Here, given a collection of distinct integers, we need to return all the possible permutations. Given the input 1, 2, 3, we know that we can have these 6 permutations for the number. So how do we solve this? The basic idea behind this question is backtracking. So what we'll do here is we'll take our example 1, 2, 3 and we will swap the numbers 1, 2 and 1, 3. So that gives us 2, 1, 3 and 3, 2, 1. In these numbers we again swap the last two digits as these can be swapped. So this gives us 1, 3, 2. Here this gives us 2, 3, 1. And here this gives us 3, 1, 2. So these will be our 6 permutations. So what we'll do is we'll recursively backtrack and keep generating the permutations for these numbers. So initially what we do is we take a list result variable which will be of type list of list of integer and we will return this result. Between this we will call the backtrack function. In this we will pass a result r input array and the starting position. Here, firstly we check if start is equal to nums.length. If so, we will add the number into our result list. But the number is an array, so we need to convert it into a list. So what we do is, we will write a custom function which will convert the nums array into list. In this, we will take a list of integer and we will iterate over the nums array. At the end, we return the list formed. Now, if the start is equal to nums length, we add it in our result. Otherwise, we will start our loop for int i equal to start i is less than nums dot length in this we will swap the numbers. So what numbers do we swap? We swap i and start in nums. Then we backtrack with start plus 1 and again swap i and Start to bring it to the initial position. So now we need to write the swap function also. We take a temp variable nums of i becomes nums of j. 
nums of j becomes 10. So that's it. Let's try to run this code. Okay. So we have got the result. Let's try to submit this code. And it got submitted. And it's faster than 100% of the submissions that were submitted online. That's it for today. See you in the next one. Till then, keep learning, keep coding.